Hey everyone, welcome back. And today we're going to be looking at some new camera gear I got and actually a new camera. So let's get to it. All right, so the camera I just picked up is a Nikon D7100. And we'll look at the main camera first. And basically, there are buttons everywhere on this thing. So the front will count, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, six I can see from just right here. So it, you definitely have to know your camera stuff to use this. And the lens, it's actually, I can't fit my entire hand around it. It is a fat lens compared to the one I'm using on my Canon T5i, which is a 18 to 55 millimeter with f-stop of one, no, it's a 3.5 to 5.6. You can go higher than that too. But this is a 18 to, it's too dark for you guys, but it's a 18 to 105 and it's the same f-stop as the one lens I have on but it's got better zoom and from what I believe it's you have to be a certain distance away but I have the all the specs on my screen right here it's a 24 megapixel and pixel size is average it's 15.3 um squared and it's got up to 25,600 ISO, which is decent. It's what most cameras are right now. They go up to the 100,000s, which is a little crazy. But if we look, it's got a very nice resolution screen. It's actually in the unique. It's weather sealed. It's got built-in focus motor takes 1080p but that is only 1080p i so what the i stands for is it basically every frame so say we have a 1920 by 1080 screen it will be a hunt uh, whatever that number is down it'll be the even on one frame and then it'll go to the odd then back to the even or vice versa so it's about half the amount of frames actually but if you don't slow it down it is actually 60 frames it's just there's half the amount of pixels on there but I can do 1080p at 24 frames and 30 frames also 50 frames depends on what style or format you use but if we go a little more advanced it has not a built-in GPS but you can use GPS on it it supports RAW which is great and the autofocus points is 51 and the cross type focus points is 15 so that's super high compared to the camera I have on right now where it's the cross points are 9 and there's only 9 focus points total so that's a very low number on that camera. The shutter goes up to 8000 minimum same as the one I have on 30 seconds got a pop-up flash but thing I love about it it's got two SD card slots and basically it's important to me because this coming summer I'm gonna be doing some wedding photography and I basically want two copies of the same picture on two separate drives so if one gets deleted for some reason it happens I have the other one to revert back to to get that but the image quality is an 83. The one I have on right now is like a 60 or a 59, something right there. The color depth 
is 24.2 bits, where that one is 20, so it's a big increase. The dynamic range is 13.7 EV, that one's a 10, and the low light performance is 1200, and that one's like 400, so it's terrible. So, the cam this camera is just nice. It's about twice the weight though. It's a, quite a bit bigger, but it it's fully manual. You can change whatever you want. It is automatic, but if you go to the manual settings, it is just phenomenal. It I can't show you the picture I took the other or earlier today because it's drug related thing so can't show you that because it has a license plate but if you guys want any more stats on this camera link will be in the description to where you can get all the stats and we'll put this on my tripod right now and all right so before we switch over I actually forgot to show you guys one thing and well that is the thing I like about video and I'll pull up a little live view take my cap off all right I leave my camera oh I left the battery out be right back again all right so got my battery in it this time and we're on video already Oops. and if you guys are looking right here there's an audio on the camera I have currently it doesn't show the audio level it just shows that I'm on manual so this feature is very helpful to me first off so I know my microphone is even on and second it just shows see how it's peaking to the yellow you don't want it to peak that high you want it to be around 12 db so having it right here is just it you can't have it any better so that's the major thing i wanted to show you guys all right so this is the camera i was using just a second ago not sure where my one up oh, there you are and if we were to take this off I can almost fit my entire hand around it. Before, my hand was really far apart. So, it just shows how much bigger that camera is. And at the end, I might do a little side-by-side -side comparison. But the nice thing about this is it flips out because right now, I have no idea if I'm in the shot or if it's focused. But, I might have said this earlier, my main intent for buying this camera wasn't for taking video. It was for doing the weddings I have coming up this summer. Because, well, I need two SD cards in the camera at once if I'm going to be doing weddings. Because that's a big chance I'm taking with one. Especially even if it's raining, I need a weather sealed. And if the lighting is really bad I need a good camera which is that one that'll take good video and what helps with lighting is this Canon it's a 55 no 50 50 millimeter it's a prime lens so there's no zoom on it and it's a f-stop of 1.8 which is a lot better than at the zoom it would be at it would be at 5.6 so it's really dark and the distance is one foot to infinity it says right on the side right here and it, it makes if I'm gonna go into a city and take pictures I'm gonna probably take this camera or I'll get a different lens this lens might be a little too close up and so if I do get another prime lens it'll be a 24 millimeter 
so it'll be really far out compared to this guy. This is actually really close. You guys are at 18 millimeters right now of where I am. You're about two feet away, so you're pretty close. Yeah, maybe a couple more. But this lens is great. I've showed you guys this before, but not too much. I probably won't, if I ever go in the city and take pictures, probably won't use a lens hood, maybe if it's a super sunny day, but it's a little bit too bold. So, but the main reason I got the fixed screen on that camera, I don't want to have to deal with flipping this, having it out or in. Yeah, the t having it as a touch is nice, where I can click really easily. This is a little more user friendly, I would say, than the Nikon D7100. But the quality and how I can customize it is completely different. And oops, that doesn't go there. What I'll show you with the lens caps is so right here I have this lens cap. It is just a small little thing compared to the big one. It's puny. But for this camera, you can get it new for 500, I want to say, about 600 with the lens. It's a standard lens. It's got image, stabilizes, image stabilization on it. My little prime lens doesn't actually. And another cool feature I just, or a new product I just got is an iPad holder and the reason I got this is it does 1080p at 120 frames per second so that's really quick and this will just go right into my tripod use the same thread and everything and then at the bottom right here there's a little twist which is really great it's not super tight, but I don't like it super tight because, well, if I try dropping it, it won't drop. But if I want, I can slide it out. I kind of like that. But if I want to do slow-mo, it's just going to be phenomenal. There's n nothing's going to beat this. And I'll, I'll clean up all of this later. But for walk around the studio, we'll do this in the next video. But before we do that, I'm going to show you one last thing I got, and it's an external hard drive. It's a SSD solid state drive. So this thing holds a terabyte, and whoever designed these SSD hard drives did a great job because if you guys can see this, again, I can't see the back of the camera. It uses a phone charger, a standard phone charger, not an iPad or iPhone, and another one. I'm not sure what that is. So if I don't have this cord and I want to plug it into my phone, I can easily just plug it right in. But this is a lot quicker. It did the other day 300 megabytes per second which is just lightning quick. It'll have your thing empty in no time. But right now I'm just gonna pull it up just because it's not actually, so a terabyte is either like 914 gigabytes or uh, 1,024 gigs. This sadly isn't the 1,024, it is Let's see. Uh, okay. But right there is a hundred and or nine hundred and four uh twenty-four. It says right up here. 
So that is great. So if you guys want to see any of this camera gear, I will put a link to as much as I can on Amazon. If not, it's, if it's not Amazon, it'll be some other store, but I'll find the best prices. If I'm not going to spend all day looking, but from what I can look at in a short amount of time, I'll find best prices and I'll basically give you guys a link to everything from this prime lens to lens cap. It goes on. It's not actually combined to, I don't know if they're still making these. Probably not. I'll put my earphones, batteries, whatever is here. If you guys want, I'll put the computer screen and my computer. So all of that will be right there. And I will see you guys on the next video. See you guys later.